Hi there and welcome back to Death Knights of Kryn. I am Baron and we are just outside um <laughs> yeah, a band of clerics apparently. They are for healing, we don't need it, goodbye. I just wanted to say we're outside a gnome village named Quasel. Do we enter? Yes we do. A group of gnomes rush up to you as you enter the village. They all start speaking rapidly at once. You interrupt and ask them to speak more slowly. One comes forward. We are from the Bureau of Foreign Relations. You must see our museum. Must we? This is our residential district. Many of our most famous inventors live here. To the right is our medical guild. To the right is the military planning guild. They have been very busy, I guess. To the right is our education guild. They have been complaining a lot recently. A gnome pulls you to an exit. Welcome to the heart of innovation of... Uh, you interrupt him and ask him to speak slowly. He starts again. Welcome to the Hall of Innovation. Over here is our ingenious apple picking machine. <laughs> I like how it actually kicks the the tree and the apple falls down. But again, it then has bad spots if you do it like that. So nah, you're supposed to pick it from the tree without it crashing to the ground. You know, the apple. This wonderful automatic door knocker protects your hands and allows you to knock on your friend's door from 10 feet away. You could just call them. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. How marvelous. Let me show you some more. Yeah, try to be polite. You see a very large wooden box in a chart. This machine is a tracker clicker. It lets anyone in the village with another tracker clicker know where you are. Uh, let's continue. Isn't this candle trap ingenious? Uh, ask Kobe Tai. Continue. With this creation, we can quickly make hats, dresses, and shoes. Oh, continue. Have you ever seen anything as clever as this automatic abacus? Yeah, it's called a pocket calculator. Let's continue. Look at this marvelous house building machine. It only requires. 30 men to operate. <laughs> With 30 men you could build a house too. <laughs> without the machine. Uh, maybe it's faster than 30 men. You don't know that. Maybe 30 men operate this machine and the house is you know, being built in 5 minutes. You risk being bored to death. What do you do? Oh. Well, I actually thought it was funny, but then I will flee. Wait. I haven't finished yet. Oh, I wasn't aware that my life is at stake here. So, where are we? Okay. Well, let's go to the south then. Some gnomes are arguing loudly and I apparently did hit the arrow keys too fast. You know, I was not... Oh, gnomes flee and undead beasts. Oh, gnomes flee undead beasts heading down the street. What do you do? Well, we attack them. Undead beasts are nothing we have to worry about. Oh, it's just two of them. You don't do anything. You know, it would probably be wise since they count as... Um, uh, skeletons. So we should probably use uh, plant weapons. You called. You don't do anything. Um, you put that away, and don't you have a shield? Yeah, you have one. Eighteen. Mm, nice. You don't have to switch. Oh, you could have tried to turn them. Nothing happens. Ow! Son of a bee. Good night. Uh, 
Um, next target. Oh, missed. I could try to turn them, but it's probably not working, and... Oh, well. It's dead anyway. No treasure. Um, yeah, we're still here. Good. Undead beasts. A philosopher gnome runs up to you and starts to speak. This is recorded as journal entry 16. Okay. Philosopher's Oratory. The gnome shakes your hand and begins. They call me Quartzburkle. Did you know that all of reality is subjective? How can we really exist if we don't create a machine that is constantly aware of the existence of each and every one of us? It's a great task that some gnome in this town must take to task. Uh, the machine would need to... And he continues and we walk away. The strange entrance collapses. Some gnomes inside chatter excitedly, then rush to clear the entrance. When they finish, they invite you in. Welcome to the Education Guild. They tell you their dilemma. This is recorded as Journal Entry 27. Let's see. Scholar Gnome. No one is interested in education anymore, says one of the studious looking gnomes as he works on a learning device that occasionally makes a loud noise. Ever since the Sage Guild got together with the Engineering Guild, the entire town has been in a mess. Machines, soldiers, monsters, he mumbles for a while and then continues. As a result, no one wants to help us find a way to teach our children how to make things. Is there any way you can help us? Uh, I don't know, really. Anything we get here? Probably not. You don't have a school or anything? Oh well. Let's take a look at the area. Okay. Moving on. What would be in here? Oh. More undead beasts. We don't flee undead beasts. We slay undead beasts. Oh, okay. Um, can you turn them? Nothing happens. You don't do anything. You move up here and guard. Boom. Can you turn? Nothing happens. Okay, you guard. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. Do you see that? Jeffrey is down to 51. Gotta be kidding me. I see a fix in our near future. Good night. Uh, no, next target. Boom. Good night. No, I don't want to continue. And ooh, dang it, we encamp and fix and things. Moving on. Where are we? Oh yeah, I wanted to go in here. You have entered a room filled with gnome soldiers. Some run up and fire at you with their strange weapons. Some of the weapons misfire, and one of the gnomes is hurt. Oh God! Don't shoot us. We thought you were the enemy. You interrupt and ask them to speak more slowly. When they realize you're friendly, they tell you something and you record this, this as Journal Entry 21. Okay, at least we are getting some journal entries read here. That's always a good thing. Weapon Guild Leader. I'm the leader of the Weapons Guild. Recently, a series of bright lights, loud noises and explosions rocked this town. This is not unusual in our village, except I have never seen so much of it. I figured it must be an invasion. We quickly got together our best troops and our latest weaponry. Another gnome interrupts to say he hopes the two guards haven't been hurt too badly. We hope you can help us find and defeat our enemy. If you are truly the heroes you appear to be, who's the enemy? 
the undead that are running around in this town. Oh well, moving on. There's nothing else in here. Let's take another look at the map. Okay. So we go in the, down here. Welcome to the medical guild. You see some gnomes tending to hurt soldiers. Mm -hmm. Many have been badly hurt. Hurt. Do you help them? Sure thing. Cast the cure at once? Yes. Rekaldorian gains experience. She can need it. Since she's a knight. And knights need a truckload of experience to actually move on. Well, okay, where could we go now? Let's go to the north. Oh, really? Fine. Do what you like. Okay, they're up here. Can you hit them? Not at this that distance. Okay. You got... You got... You got... All three of them are going to attack you. Good night. Oh, still a miss. And it's dead. Easy experience. Um, and camp, fix, exit. Moving on. So, I wanted to go up. How many undead beasts are here, I wonder? Okay, they're up there. And God. Three attacks. That's rather much. Or rather many. A very high number of attacks. You got. You got. You got. And you got. And another one bites the dust. No treasure though. So what's in here? Oh, nothing apparently. A philosopher gnome. Again? 52? Did we already have that? We already talked to a philosopher gnome. No, that's another one. Philosopher's Oratory. Number two, apparently. The little gnome bobs his head in excitement. I am Quizmaxomatics. Did you know that if each gnome is, giving, is given to according to his ability and taken from according to his need or weight, it is... is the What? That's a difficult sentence. Did you know that if each gnome is given to according to his ability and taken from according to his need or weight, is that if each gnome is taken from according to his ability or weight what was that if each gnome that doesn't make sense go away okay I'm not being stupid the gnome is being stupid let's go yeah how many are there okay they're always up there or you could try to hit them but it's probably too far away. No, it's not too far away. You got, you got, 
you got and you got all the four characters are going to hit you oh Sylvia good night you got Why do they sometimes have three attacks? Maybe they are high level like that. Good night. Um, where are we? Let's go in here. Welcome to the Grand Council of Bureaucracy. You see stacks of papers all over the room. Busy gnomes rush to take handfuls of paperwork from one stack to another. Okay. So, where else could we go? I guess we could go up here. A soldier gnome mistakes you for the enemy. He fires a strange device at you. He misses and runs away. I know it's day. And uh, more undead beasts attack. Mm. Oh, they're up here. Missed. Oh. And of course, you say it. That's relatively easy. Okay, let's... Don't bother me! I mean, it was fun the first 19 times, but now it's actually getting a little boring. Fine, we fix and uh, move on. I wanted to go in here. Some gnomes are arguing loudly and rapidly with each other. A gnome named What? Mark Vestrans resides here. He shows you a window on the east wall out to the wilderness. I am a spy on the lookout for the evil forces that plague our village. I invented this observation device. He peers out the window with his device and ignores you. Oh, I thought the window was the device, you know. Make a hole in the wall and you can spy on things that are on the other side of the wall. That's my invention. Gnomes, I don't really know. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Moving on. The doors are stuck. A great commotion ensues as gnomes shout and wrestle with the door. They finally open the door. We go in. Welcome to the Sage Gnome Guild. The Sage Gnomes are happy to see you and they tell you the cause of the town's unrest. This is recorded as General Entry 18. Okay, let's take a look. 
Sage Gnome. Welcome to our town. One of the Sage Gnomes says as one of his companions busily sketches you. As you may or may not know, our mission in life is to recover every activity no, to record every activity in this village. Well, recently a gnome whom you would call Quacks made a machine that would make some of us obsolete. It made sketches of anything you pointed it at. It was a camera probably. We told him to make something different and to destroy this machine, but he is awfully stubborn. So we asked the engineering guild to make something to make his machine fail. Unfortunately, shortly afterwards, the village started being rocked uh, with explosions, loud noises, bright lights. He stops, realizing he was speaking too fast. He calms down and continues. <coughs> Since then, we have been at war with at war and Quex has barricaded himself in his workshop and even put some traps around to keep anyone from coming in. This is how the inven invention of a like a camera screws things up in a village. Those gnomes are just crazy. Okay. Ah well, he didn't speak. Good. I've begun to hate those philosopher gnomes because they just don't make sense. Okay, let's go in here. You are in a very cramped, very noisy room filled with various types of strange machinery. A machine flashes a bright light that almost blinds you. You have to shield your eyes in order to see. What do you do? You destroy it. You destroy the machine. Pieces of metal, wood and twisted wires fly across the room. A sound device makes a final burp noise as the machine stops. Good. Maybe we should save. I don't know what I'm doing here. Moving on. Where am I? Okay. Poisonous gas. Ow. Oh. And camp. Fix. The door is locked. What do you do? Well, we could try to pick it. The door opens. You fool, says a wizard. He continues. This is recorded as journal entry 41. You know gnome. Evil Mage's spirit. After Mirtani's army was defeated, I fled the battlefield and stumbled across this village. His eyes glass over a second, then he spouts, Gnomes! He shakes his head in disgust. One of them had just invented something that actually worked. Some sort of mechanical picture-making device. Suddenly the whole town was up in arms and some of the villagers were blockading the inventor in his workshop. A sinister grin appears on his face. Replacing the inventor would solve all of my problems. I could hide and become more powerful without anyone even knowing that I exist. He rolls his head back in laughter. I had no trouble sneaking in and killing the unfortunate gnome who had created the machine. Just to make sure I set up traps so the villagers would think he had become a hermit. I let my pets out to create more confusion. After you are gone I can get back to my studies and become the most powerful wizard on Kryn. I highly doubt that if you remain secluded here you will become the most powerful wizard on Kryn. But okay. We shall see. You will die like the gnome. He sets his beasts on you. Fine. You know what? I don't really care about your monster. And you're dead. And we're done? Yeah, that was relatively easy, but we found treasure. What did we get? Okay, um, so you take that and that and um, you take the dots. Thank you. Exit. <coughs> Congratulations, the party gains experience. Some items fall out of the dead mage's robe. They look like they may be magical. We get 742 more experience points and more stuff. 
Eyes of Charming and two potions. Okay, so we, well, I guess we take them too. You take that and then um, you take the potions. Uh, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. The doors are stuck. Yeah, okay. Welcome to the Sage Gnome Guild. You see a Sage Gnome hard at work, writing and sketching. Okay, apparently we have solved the troubles of this little town, so we can probably leave now. Uh, that's not the way I wanted to go. You haven't finished your tour of the Haunt of Innovation. Would you please come with me? No. You managed to sneak away. Well, apparently I was in mortal danger there, so yeah. I won't go there. Oh. Okay, he just starts to speak and uh, he doesn't really say anything. That's good. It's a dead end. Those gnomes are annoying. You gotta be kidding me, man. Should take a look at the compass. No, leave me in peace. I'm just looking for the exit. And I guess here it is. Yeah, I wanna leave. That was Quasl. No, we will not enter. We will encamp and save. And actually, we will move on. Let's follow the river. Well, because I have been told if you follow the river... Yeah, okay, let's go to the caravans. That's always fun. We pull our money. And we can identify our stuff now. Quarter stuff plus one. Braces AC6. Eyes of Charming. Okay. Well then, you ready them. And sell that. And sell that. Um, what did you have? Potion of healing, potion of speed. Well, you could give that potion of speed to Reckle. Thanks. Do you have anything that needs to be identified? No. You do not carry anything that is important. You don't need anything. And you don't have anything that needs to be identified. Okay, that was nice. So you could probably take all the money again. And um, anything worthwhile here? No. So we leave. Oh, good. They leave us alone. Like they should. Nothing happening here. Okay, let's kill the undead. Skeleton warriors. You try to turn. Nothing happens. Where are they? Oh. That's not nice. Um... You end it. Well, you move up here and um, guard. You move up here and guard. No, you try to turn them. 
Ah, at least the zomb one zombie minotaur was turned, that's not really much. So you move up here and guard. You know, I'm thinking, um, yeah, you move here and guard. No, ah, well, you got here. So, um, you stay here. So, we have, and one is there apparently. That's good. I just want to make sure that none of those bears is actually sneaking up on my um, mages. Oh well, you probably won't be able to reach them. Exactly. And no treasure. So, I tell you what, I will finish the video here and I will mm, try and look for, my, for the event that I'm trying to get and turn the video back on once I have actually managed to find it. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!